Hi, I'm Debbie Hartner. I'm Elsie Johnson. We are two sisters, Southern Cooking. A white lily recipe um, we followed them online and I've actually made this recipe a few weeks ago and then promptly forgot who, where I got the recipe and we couldn't find it we were gonna make it two weeks ago and I just couldn't find it I spent two whole days looking for this recipe and I don't know a light bulb went off in my head and I'm like oh, I think it was white lily so I went to their page and sure enough that's where it was so we're gonna do it today it really is no mixtures involved Everything is just mixed by hand, and it's super, super good. So White Lily, we use all of their products. Yep. Red Flower, All Purpose, um, the, the Surprising, yep. we use the, um, the cornmeal, everything. So, yep. And we strongly encourage you to use White Lily if you have a chance. If it's available to you. Because it's delicious. Yeah. It's really good. All right, so the part of this recipe that is, I think, makes the difference is boiled hot water. Um, I think that's truly what makes it tender and um, moist. So I had the this burner going hot and we're gonna get this to a boil. It shouldn't take it long because of um, the, the burner is hot. So as soon as that comes to a boil then we'll start mixing in all our stuff. You have in there, in the dry ingredients, you have... So off camera, I went ahead and whisked up my flour, my all-purpose flour, mm -hmm. cocoa, and salt, uh, baking soda, and baking powder, and I just put in my sugar. And you can put all of these together as long as you have them whisked up and sifted and where everything is very fine, like it is right now. So, and then I've already uh, whisked up our eggs and... Right. So after we do that, we're going to make a well in the center of this here, and then we'll go ahead and uh, then we'll add in all the liquid the wet ingredients, ingredients, and then you mix it together. So um, I'm really excited to to let them see how well this was because Roger and I we literally ate this whole bunk pan ourselves <laughs> in a in a couple days, but we literally did it. It just stayed moist for days. I kept it on my cake pan with the lid on it and it just stayed moist and tender and we just kept eating on it. It was really, really good. So I'm excited to show this to everybody. It's already starting to boil. It won't be long and it'll be at a full boil and then we'll start mixing all the wet ingredients in. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make, make a little a, well in yep. the center here. Yep. And just get it ready. And I have a whisk here. So we can whisk it up. This is not going in a mixer. This is all hand mixed. Mm -hmm. So I also kind of think that may be a difference too to make it more tender, is it doesn't activate the glutens as much. And you don't get it as yeah. And you don't get it as uh, okay. We are at a good boil. So I'm going to turn this off and going to pour this in. Move this out of the way so we don't burn ourselves on it. Yeah, because I think it's pretty hot. Um, I'm going to start stirring this together. We might convert over to your spatula here in a second because it will. All right, go ahead and pour those in and then we'll add the eggs. So we have the oil and the milk mixed together in the same bowl. All right. And then we're going to put in the eggs, and we've already whisked that up. And then we put it in our pan, we put it in the oven, 350 for 40, 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead and pour some more in. This almost reminds me of like a brownie batter, mm. just a little thinner. Mm -hmm. So just let me know when you're ready for me to put in the eggs. Okay. Trying to make sure I get it all mixed. They want to make sure that you sift this 
your dry ingredients because of it being hand whisked. Okay y'all, so I'm pouring in my egg mixture into the cake batter. And as I've already said, we are hand whisking this and we're not using a stand mixer or a hand mixer because this is what the recipe calls for. And we've already prepared our baker spray into our 9 by 13 pan to bake it at 350. And then we're gonna have a delicious cake, y'all. This is a heavy duty one too. It's like really heavy. Yeah, it does look like it. So this actually pours really easy. You don't have to move your pan around because it's it's a looser batter and I truly believe being a looser batter it's more tender. You're going to be amazed when you see it come out though and you cut into it at how moist it is. We're going to definitely have to show a piece of it cut mm -hmm. so that when it's done and ready to be served how well it yeah it leveled itself pretty well all right guys we will go ahead and get this in the oven and we will see you guys when it comes out of the oven and we'll show you what it looks like because we're going to have to put a cho uh, chocolate ganache hey, y'all i am making the ganache to go on top of this devil's food cake i have one cup of heavy cream three tablespoons of corn syrup and a cup of milk chocolate chocolate chips. And I just poured the, the hot cream and uh, corn syrup over my chocolate chips and I'm gonna stir them until they're melted. Okay, it was um, a little bit thin, so we added another half cup of chocolate chips, um, milk chocolate chips. And they are all mixed together and looks really good. So I'm going to start to pour this over. You want it to be a good pourable consistency. Turn it around so I can see what this side looks like. All right, it is um, ready to go. We will let it set to firm up and then we will have it for supper today. And I'm Debbie. We're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. And we thank you for visiting our page. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.